Chinook, Bravo, Kilo 7, Echo America, Sherry, Japan Echo. Good afternoon. Thank you for your call. Your pie is by an A here in Barcelona, Barcelona State. The name is Lou, London, Australia Report. Kilo 7. Mike Rice Bacon, over. Mike Bravo Baker. Okay, Ben. My name is Lou. London, Australia Report. Barcelona State. What is your state? Your state, over. Montana. Montana. Very good, very good, Ben. Excellent company. Could you buy eight or nine here in Barcelona State? Kilo India 7, my foot maker, Echo America 7, Japan Echo. Thank you, Sherwin. Hello everyone, N3FJZ here, and uh, that was uh, that was Lou from Barcelona, Spain. EA3 JE Echo Alpha 3 Juliet Echo, and he was being received on my tin ear receiver that I built back in 2009. Recently, Bill N2CQR, the P Solder Smoke podcast, has been featuring a project that, um, that he and Dean, KK4DAS, have been working on. And it sort of prompted me to, to dig out my old direct conversion receiver I built was my one of my first receivers that uh, I built that actually received amateur radio uh, QSOs one. So I put away my uh, super head and got this old guy out. And uh, you can find this radio if you want to build it. Let's see if you do a search. On the American QRP Club Tin Ear Receiver Construction Manual. Search for that. It should bring up the construction manual, and that's what I use to build this copy of this project. And here's the, uh, the schematic. It's a uh, it's a direct conversion receiver that uses an FET mixer and a uh, a PTO slug tuned uh, local oscillator. And uh, I've added an, an additional amplifier. I think this project here was uh, meant for earbuds. But I went ahead and added a, an outboard 
or an, another amplifier to the chain, which is this small board right here, which makes a lot of difference. Okay, here it is receiving an AM signal, and as you can tell, the tuning is critical to get it uh, to clarify to where you actually understand what they're saying. Right, and uh, really into the whole well, AM thing. So he said he said he was listening in, and he was greatly disappointed in those two that. They were saying all this ugly stuff about me. I said, okay, well, I wouldn't put it past them. So I understand he wanted me to call him on the phone anyway, some, some months earlier, just to, just to. So I emailed him back saying I'd like to get his phone number. So I called him up. And then he told me the rest of the story that one of them, not the guy that I, uh, that I told him to go, um, Yes, so, uh, as far as, uh, things on his hand, I've been okay. I got back from my, uh, uh, short trip here to see my friend, and, uh, he's doing well. His uh, wife got, uh, cancer. I just wanted to go see him to cheer him up a little bit. And, uh, just read some sad news this morning, uh, kind of shocked me a little bit, um, <laughs> avoiding of me is his admission of guilt. Okay, this tuning capacitor here is something I added. Actually, if you look at the, the schematic here, uh, it has a uh, toroid antenna impedance matching circuit, and uh, they're showing a 220 picofarad fixed capacitor. I put a, 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 a variable capacitor there, and it greatly improved the ability to uh, 
the peak, the signals, and to partially uh, knock down some of the AM shortwave broadcasts that break through this type of direct conversion receiver. It's very sensitive to uh, strong signals outside of the band. And I added a variable capacitor there where, uh, where you see C, I think it's C8. It's hard to tell. And that's this capacitor here. And it's, um, it's hard to see, but there's a toroid down in there, right there. It's, can, it's a parallel to that. So it does a pretty good job for just a handful of parts. Most of the parts here are, this, are the uh, audio amplifier, this, this board right here. So the actual 10 ear, re 10 -ear receiver um, only has a handful of components. And then there's a PTO here, which I have in a box to shield it from the, from the receiver. Well, anyway, uh, somewhat boring video, but I thought maybe you'd enjoy seeing uh, my first receiver. And it was uh, pretty exciting at the time, because I had nothing else. And uh, it's interesting what you can build. So 7-3, everyone. This is Rick N3FJZ.